Hi everyone, I'm Ben from LE. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can really easily assign videos and flashcard sets that you've made or flashcard categories that we've made uh, to your students within a class uh, using our lesson planner. It's really simple and I just wanna show you how to do that. All right, so right now I'm logged in as a teacher. I'm on our media gallery here. Our media gallery has two sections, flashcards and videos. Uh, I'm already into the video section. You, by the way, you can get to that media gallery by clicking materials and then going to flashcards or videos here. Um, and when you're on this, I'm on videos right now and I'm on a category called pronunciation, but I'm interested in some dialogue videos that I wanted to share with my students. So I clicked into dialogues. I can see these different dialogues here. The one that I'm interested in sharing with my students is going to the bank. So I can just simply click that and I could play it in class, blow it up in front of uh, my class on the big screen, or I can click add to class, in which case I'm going to be giving the video to my students so that they can watch it on their own devices, either in class or on their own time uh, at home. So I'll click that blue button and I can select here the class that I want to put it into. In this case, I want to put it into my intermediate conversation class. And then it's going to ask me where I want to put it within that class. I can put it into a saved bucket or I can put it in my prepping lane or my teaching lane. If I put it in the teaching lane, they have instant immediate access to it. So if I want them to have it right now, I just click teaching, they've got it. If I put it into the prepping lane, it goes into a lane where I might assign it next week or the week after or tomorrow, but it's sometime soon and I know it's right there ready for me. So I'll put it into prepping. I'll click save. And once I click save, um, down at the bottom here, there's a shortcut that says view class here. I'll click view class. And there is that video right there in my prepping lane inside of the class that I put it in, intermediate conversation class. Super simple. Now, my students don't have access to it yet. So this is what my students see right now. I'm logged in as one of my students here behind the screen. This is a mirrors page that I've just tabbed over to. He's got one assignment, influencers. It's a discussion starter about influencers. Um, and you can see that's what's in the teaching lane. So I'll go ahead and drag over this video into teaching. And the moment I drag that in there, the next time the student comes back to this page, um, the assignment or the video will be there as an assignment ready to go. Um, if I want, I can add a description or a note to this assignment and I can add a due date as well. To do that, you just simply click on the card. It opens up. I'll give it a due date of July 31st and I'll write a note. Please watch this video three times. I'll hit save. And the next time that Amir comes and logs into the class, now he'll have a due date. And uh, he'll also have a note inside just above the video uh, that he can read. Please watch this video three times. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, when I move this video out of the teaching column and into taught uh, for Amir, it gets out of the way and it goes into this past item or past tab with all the other assignments that he's had in the past. They're all right here. But we also have this other little um, tab over here called media. And media is just all the flashcards and all the videos that you've ever shared with the students just all in one spot so that they can quickly get to them with the lessons and other material filtered out. It's just the videos, just the flashcards. So if I click over to media as a student, I can easily get back to one of these at any point and just watch them again. And it's nice for your students to have access to these flashcard sets and these videos that they can watch and practice with on their own time. All right, so that's how you share videos. Now let me just quickly show you how we'll share flashcards. So uh, I've got another tab right here for flashcards already open and ready to go. Um, you would cl click over to flashcards and I've, I happen to have already clicked into buildings and places here. It's, a, it's an area that I want to share with my students. I'll click to a subcategory of at the airport. And once I'm in a subcategory, I can see both the button to launch the slideshow interactively with my students in front of the class or add this pack right here of uh, images from the airport directly to my students. So it's all sort of preset. I'll go ahead and click add to class. And again, same thing. I'll put it in my intermediate and I'll put it, I'll put it right into the teaching lane right now. And my students have access to that right away. Super simple. If you want to um, share a set that you've saved yourself. So for example, if you make your own set uh, of images, maybe I want some of these images and I want some stuff from some other sections and you're creating uh, a kind of set yourself, uh, you can easily do that uh, by just simply creating a set. I'll just call it my uh, one demo set and I'll save to there. And once I've saved uh, to that demo set, I can simply go up here to saved, 
go to flashcard sets and the first I, I've made the uh, this set have the number one uh, so it's the first one to show up here but this is that set that I just made but if you do want to share a set that you've already created you just click these three dots over on the far right and a little modal will pop up and you can select here, add to class. And same sort of thing. So I'm gonna add that to this intermediate conversation class. I'll put it in the teaching lane, I'll hit save. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like in the class. There it is in the class, the two flashcard sets that I saved. Uh, there they are for the student the next time that the student logs in. And there they are permanently in the media tab over here so that the student can get to it at any time. I can now click in as a student and there's that flashcard set where I can look at the pictures, see the words, hear the audio, airplane, etc. Super simple and of course you can leave a note or um, a assignment due date as well for these flashcard sets too. So that's that's it. That's how you assign flashcards. That's how you assign videos. Hope you're enjoying sharing content with your students and hope you're loving using Ellie. All the best.